Hi, this is Lisa Allen, and in this video we're going to be going over the features of tab 2, which is where you find authority SEO feeds to go along with your content. These are the feeds that we're going to be piggybacking on the authority of, and so we want to find those. Now, RSS Authority Sniper has several different kinds of feeds that it can find for you, and we chose these to focus on because these domains have a lot of authority of their own, and so it's a lot easier to find better content that has great authority here from these particular domains. So let's say that the now we're using this content here adding website breadcrumb microdata for SEO so this post is about SEO and it's about how microdata affects. So let's choose um, let's just say blogs and looks looks for some feeds here. You can see it's going out and finding some feeds. It's found one so far. And basically this is just going out to Google and asking Google which ones it likes the, book, the best. So it, it goes for the ones that are at the top of the rankings. So these are going to be the ones that are, are actually ranking most for this uh, this keyword, the domains that are ranking most for this keyword. And you can see that it goes through and it, it's, it's actually going and, and it first asks Google and then it goes and, and validates and makes sure that they actually exist and that's all it really has to do. Okay, so it looks like it found a few. Now it likes Moz for this, which makes a lot of sense to me. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to pick and shortlist at least three because we need three really to, to build up the proper authority around our own content. So I've double clicked on this. It's previewed, showing me a preview of what's in the feed, and I can use this preview to determine whether this content and this feed is going to be really good for me or not. Now, this one is really good about SEO and uh, microdata SEO, so I'm going to actually choose that one. So we'll put that into our shortlist. And let's see. Now, this one is. Let's see. Yeah, this is fairly fresh. So two ways to show local SEO by Yoast address. And so this is a lot of about SEO, different SEO topics, but it does have at least one or two posts on this domain that are ranking in Google in the top couple of pages. So so I'm going to take this one too because I think that's close enough. And let's see a guide to rich snippet schema and microdata. Oh, this is a really good one here. So let's grab that one. Okay, and you can see that these have all got some page rank. So now we've chosen three of those. And you can add, do more keywords, or you can use YouTube channels if you like. Uh, it also will find them from Tumblr blogs, Vimeo, and Pinterest boards. And so once we've done that, then once you have three that you want to use, then you just click on next. Now if you want to clear these, if you're doing multiple searches and you want to kind of get rid of the stuff that's in here so that you can do a new search and be able to see everything really easily, just click the delete button there, the trash can bin, and say yes and it will clear that. Now we can go to next and you can see over here these are the companion feeds that we shortlisted. Now you can shortlist more than three if you like and then choose from them once you've got all of you know once you've done all your kind of previewing you can go and choose from the ones that you shortlisted so that makes it so that it's easy to just kind of put aside the ones that you liked so that's it for how to use the keyword RSS scrape tab in RSS Authority Sniper 2 and once you've done that just click the next button then I will see you in the next video for tab 3 so that's it for this video and I will talk to you again soon